Little 10 foot box Coleman Santa Fe pop up coming in on trade here at Haylet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Folks came all the way from New Jersey to swap her out for a Rockwood Rue hybrid. That's just the kind of good treating we do for people. Now, inside it's going to look uh, pretty darn fantastic, but uh, up top, you see, you can't really even see it from here. If you look, these uh, old Coleman's had a one piece molded kind of clamshell roof. And it looks like this one weathered a little bit, and they put some seam tape over those, uh, basically, cracks on the roof. I have found absolutely no signature inside of where it caused any problems, so I got a feeling as soon as they saw it, they did something about it to keep it from becoming a problem. But, hey, you deserve to know it's there. And the good news is, just because of stuff like that, basically, we're, it's kind of just like, hey, what you got in your pocket? You got somewhere between one, two grand? Let's get this thing out of here. And though, you know, a little bit dated, and don't get me wrong, a camper's not a spring chicken, it's been used, but overall, I'm actually pretty happy with what I see in here. I have certainly seen worse. Um, the, uh, you know, floor, uh, the camper could use cleaned, but I mean, that's about it. I don't know what used camper you wouldn't want cleaned, frankly. And like I said, up top here, there's no signs of any problems with anything that could have resulted from those uh, stress cracks on the roof. So, again, what it looks like is the previous owners noticed it, caught it right away, put the seam tape on there to keep it from becoming a problem. And even though you hear like, well, they put tape on the roof, that sounds kind of rickety. That, I mean, it, it works. There's, there's different kinds of tape, guys. There's stuff made specifically for those sorts of purposes. And obviously it did a pretty good job. Um, this is interesting too. It has a like a king front bed and a full rear. Plus the table's free floating and the dinette uh, can uh, always fold down into a extra sleeping space itself. Chatting with the previous owner here, they advised that the little bungee straps that kind of hold the skirting of those bed ends down, um, that was just replaced. And short of that, it it actually doesn't look too terribly bad. Interesting thing, it's actually got double propane tanks, which is something you do not usually see in a pop-up camper, but especially something this size, which could easily be used off-grid, it makes a lot of sense. As we're passing by, you can see the uh, furnace, water heater, outside shower. Now, please keep in mind, I have not personally tested this RV to see if any of that works. So uh, I don't expect you just to, you know, take my word for it that, hey, everything's in good working order because I, I can't guarantee that personally. So what I'd recommend is if it looks like it's something that would work for you, give our team here at Halet RV a call. We can get it pulled up to the building. You can visit it in person, form your own opinions, and uh, we can uh, get it all plugged in to make sure you can see what works, what doesn't go from there. Um, this is definitely an as is, where is, how is kind of sale, just simply given the age of the RV. But overall, I think you could do a lot worse. Perfect? No, absolutely not. Maybe a fair starter kind of camper. Um, or if you're like, look, I'm just looking for a casual little hunting camper or something to just take my kids out once a year. Man, don't go broke doing it. Here's a cheap little get out and go camping but not have to sleep on the floor kind of option. Floor, ground. Oh. Anyway. Take care, stay safe, have fun, happy camping everyone.